Eusebius of Caesarea, 260 to 341 AD, or Eusebius Pamphili was Bishop of Caesarea in Palestine. He is considered the father of church history and was a Christian scholar and presbyter in the church at Caesarea. His major work was his History of the Church, a massive piece of research that preserves quotations from many older writers that would otherwise have been lost, specifically, for researchers of Phoenician history. In the extracts from his book Preparatio Evangelica, Preparation for the Gospel, from a translation by E. H. Gifford in 1903, a considerable gist of Phoenician theology was made available. In fact, Phoenician history contained in his book is the oldest non-coded document of the Western world's historical archives. Furthermore, it is particularly valuable because its author, Sancuniathan, was a free man who did not hesitate to denounce myths. Phoenician history is a fundamental document of human culture, and the surviving fragments of it were almost lost had it not been for Eusebius. For important icons of knowledge need to be made known to the average reader of history who may not be familiar with them. They are Sancuniathan of Berytus, Tautos of Byblos, Philo of Biblius and Porphyry of Tyre, Sancuniathan of Berytus, Beirut, or Sakanyathan in Phoenician means. The god Sakan has given. He was an ancient Phoenician sage, priest, and writer. He lived before the Trojan times. Judging from the fragments of the Phoenician history, Sancuniathan appears to have been a contemporary of Semiramis, the queen of Assyria, the wife of Ninus, with whom she founded Nineveh 2000 BC. However, some believe that Sancuniathan was a contemporary of Gideon 1339 BC without any proof. His book goes back into fabled antiquity. Sancuniathan, like Vgasa in India, is said to have been a compiler of extremely ancient theogonic and historical documents that had been transmitted to him either by oral tradition or in writing. Sancuniathan derived the sacred lore from the mystic inscriptions on the Hamanim, sun pillars, which stood in Phoenician temples. Porphyry of Tyre says that Sancuniathan wrote a history of the Jews based on information derived from Hierambal, i.e. Jerubal, a priest of the god Jivo, i.e. Yeve. He dedicated it to Abel Baal or Ababal, king of Berytus. The story was thought to be fictional because of its reference to Berytus. However, excavations in Berytus in recent years prove that the city may be older than Byblos that has cultural tradition to 8000 BC. Sancuniathan's Phoenician history may be regarded as one of the most authentic memorials of the events which took place before the flood. It begins with a legendary cosmogony and relates to how the first two mortals were begotten by the wind spirit and his wife Bo Darkness. It refers to the fall, the production of fire, the invention of huts and clothing, the origin of the arts of agriculture, hunting, fishing and navigation, and the beginnings of human civilization. Sancuniathan gives a curious account of the descendants of the line of Cain. His history of the descendants of the line of Seth reads like the record in Genesis. Philo of Biblius, Byblos, or Herennios Philon of Byblos, 64 to 141 AD, was a Phoenician scholar and Roman citizen, born in Byblos, and representative of the Roman consul Herennius Severus. He wrote numerous works of grammatical, lexical, encyclopedic, and historical importance. He wrote in Greek about scientific authors and famous people and their work, especially Emperor Hadrian. His most important work is the translation of Phoenician history by Sancuniathan. This work was thought to be made up but since 1929 archaeological evidence from Ras Shamra, Ugarit, of clay tablets texts dated to 1400 to 1200 BC proved him true. He had a considerable reputation for honesty in his work which archaeology confirmed. His Greek translation represents a valuable source for our knowledge of the Phoenician Canaanite religion. According to Philo, the names of Mount Lebanon, the mountain range of the Anti-Lebanon, and other Syrian mountains were derived from the names of giants who once dwelt there. In ancient history, most high mountains were thought of as the abode of gods. In the case of Mount Lebanon, it would have been Baal Lebanon, sometimes identified as Baal Hadad. Porphyry Malchus of Tyre, 223 to 309 AD, was born in Tyre and studied in Athens, 
before joining the Neoplatonic group of Plotinus in Rome where he studied philosophy. Porphyry was a man of great learning and was interested in, and had great talent for historical and philological criticism. He had a passion to uproot false teachings in order to ennoble people and turn them to the good. He declared the salvation of the soul as the ultimate purpose of philosophy. His works include Against the Christians, a work of 15 volumes directed not against Christ or his teachings, but against the Christians of his own day and their sacred books. He argued they were the work of ignorant people and deceivers. He attacked Christian doctrines on both philosophical and exegetically grounds. As to be expected, his books were banned in 448 and ordered destroyed by the Christians. Copious extracts of them remain in the writings of St. Augustine and others. Other books such as Aids to the Study of the Intelligibles is a basic summary of Neoplatonism. He wrote against Moses and attacked Eusebius of Caesarea. He lived an austere celibate life 